it's me, Valeria, I'm here and um, I've not been on my channel about two weeks, it's so long for me, but I have some reasons and I have a lot of news for you. This video, I want to make like a live video, like uh, imagine that uh, you are my friends, but <laughs> you are my friends and I just want to tell you about uh, what is happening right now in my life and uh, I decided to do it like like this just like usual uh, live video so let's start my story so if we are friends and uh, I'm gonna tell you some use it means that I need to make some tea for us okay Let's make tea and start to tell about my news. Honestly, I'm so happy to be in Thailand. By the way, in Russian we say Thailand. But my home is the island Phuket. I'm so happy, but I have not been on my channel about two weeks because it is so, so hard to adapt to new conditions, to new life, <laughs> to your new home and uh, I have the difficult period of adaptation um, and I, I can explain why it is difficult for me by the way, right now I am not in Russia about two months it's so long, really, I've never, never <laughs> been in Russia uh, so long and it doesn't mean that I miss Russia. I miss my uh, loved one. I miss my usual life when you don't care um, about some about legalization, <laughs> because right now I have some tasks about legalization here. I mean about legal status to be here. Uh, right now I wait my visa. And uh, I want to tell you about it. I decided to make the student visa for staying here about one year. Why? Because I hadn't, I hadn't got any variants. Uh, if you have a student visa here, it's uh, legal, of course. Uh, it doesn't mean that you need to study here. Uh, so I want uh, study. And uh, I just uh, will have this video and stay in Phuket about one year. But I had some troubles with this video because uh, local workers, local citizens made my documents so long. And it was a risk that I would need to live <laughs> from Thailand to Malaysia. Malaysia is the nearest country um, to Thailand. And go to Thailand again. It's uh, called like border run. Uh, so, but uh, the government made uh, my, my documents and right now I just wait my passport with this visa and maybe in one week maybe in two weeks i will get my passport with the visa so uh, it's my first news by the way i need to make some tea and i continue to tell you uh, my news while i'm making my tea i want to tell that i love so much local food it's truly delicious it's not usual food um, there is the stereotype that in uh, Thailand all food are spicy but it is, it's not true because in Thailand especially in Phuket uh, there are so many tourists so many international people and uh, local citizens, of course, understand that fact. So uh, when you go to some restaurants, you can uh, tell 
uh, that you have you want to have some food not spicy and uh, you can have this food so of course in the first days I um, at McDonald's <laughs> because I just was afraid of um, tasting uh, their food, uh, local food, because I just afraid I was afraid that it can be so spicy and so uh, dangerous for my health. So, but right now um, I eat especially local food and it's so nice it's not uh, expensive i can say that if you have some uh if you want to have some lunch like uh, spaghetti uh, with chicken you can buy only one dollar one dollar and you have the very delicious and healthy lunch it is so nice, it's so comfortable because I have some shops uh, near my home and I just need to spend about three minutes for go uh, going to the shop and uh, buy the lunch. You just need to um, to put it microwave and that's all. You have the lunch, you don't need to uh, prepare this food. So. It is so, so nice and so, so comfortable. By the way, I want to make a uh, live podcast uh, um, on uh, this week, maybe Sunday. Uh, and if you want to ask something, if you want to know about something, you can uh, write your questions under this video in comments. So about the time, I will write some later and uh, we will choose the comfortable time together with you so i want to tell with you i want to um, tell about me about my life more so continue my news my story when i was a teenager i had the dream the very very big dream i wanted to work in uh, a language school. I don't know why, but I thought that it is so, so nice. <laughs> and I worked uh, in a language school. I uh, taught just children, uh, children who were like 10 years old, 12 years old, and so on. And uh, my students had the great results, really. A lot of people, a lot of teachers uh, said, like, Valeria, you have the talent to uh, tell about difficult things by easy language, by easy words, and so on. And I worked in a language school uh, in Russia about one year. I was studying at my university. I was studying, by the way, um, I wanted to be an English teacher and I was uh, learning English and Chinese languages at my university. So after my education, I was going to a language school and uh, I was teaching children. And uh, after this experience, I understood that I know how to teach children and teach people because I had some um, students who were adults, like 30 years old, 40 years old, and I understood that I really have some uh, skills for this, I have some methods and so on. So I have uh, not stream like, like uh, right now and it's my goal. I want to have my own international language school, online international school. And uh, right now I make some uh, steps for this. Firstly, I started my uh, project, my new project, uh, and uh, I met with haters, of course. Of course, some haters don't understand that if you are not a native speaker, it doesn't mean that you cannot explain some rules in English. 
because I know how uh, I can explain some rules for uh, international people or for Russians that they will really speak in English, will start to speak in English, or will um, make some grammar tests very well and so on. But haters, some haters really don't understand that if you are not a native speaker, you can make some mistakes. And I make mistakes a lot of times in my videos. In this video, I made mistakes. My last videos, I made mistakes and so on. But I uh, don't react uh, on haters because, because I know that all people make mistakes every day. You make mistakes, my parents make mistakes, my teachers make mistakes, and native speakers make mistakes too. And it's okay. It's usual thing. And if you are not making mistakes, it means that you don't do anything. And I was thinking, just imagine how many people stopped and stopped their activities because of haters because some people just said that you are making mistakes or that you are bad in your activity because someone think that oh my gosh and it is it is so uh, strange i uh, insist that if you want to live your happy life if you want to catch your dream, it means that you don't need to, to talk with haters. You don't need to react on this. You don't need to hear anyone who just uh, want to tell you that you're not okay. You are okay. I am okay. We just uh, can make mistakes, really. About uh, the International Language School. Of course, I understand that right now in the world there are a lot of uh, international language school schools, uh, especially online schools, because I want uh, to build uh, online schools with the great teachers, with uh, the native speakers and so on. Uh, and of course, I understand that I need to have my Mm, unique strategy, unique brand, unique idea for this school. Right now, I just uh, uh, will try different ways to make my dream uh, to reality uh, because I uh, don't have the goal to make it like as soon as possible because I want to have really the greatest uh, online international schools. And I know that it can spend a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of my energy and so on. But I'm ready because, how I said, it is my really dream from childhood. I want that uh, more and more people uh, start to learn English. Because English is the beautiful language. It's the language of opportunities. One more news. I started to learn Spanish because um, it was my dream too. I want to know more languages because I understand that if you know some language, it means that you can research the culture of this country. For example, if I uh, know English, I can research the culture of Great Britain, Australia, Canada, America and so on. But if I uh, no Spanish, it means that I can know new culture and I can meet with new people. And as I said before, languages for me are opportunities. It's a lot of doors in your life if you know some languages. So, I can show you how I uh, learn new language. So, this is words in Russian. For example, delicious. Delicioso. Delicioso, <laughs> like uh, bad, malo. malo, and every day I just uh, learn new words, I try to uh, remember, I try to repeat them, and uh, I have some books. 
So, by the way, I try to read uh, the uh, book in English every day. Uh, it's uh, new words, new phrases, which I don't know. So, this the book about uh, negotiation, negotiation for success. It is so interesting for me, really. Uh, okay, I can... Yes, this book is the book Spanish for three months. And uh, this is so comfortable for me because I have some tasks. For example, read uh, next word. And then I have the answer. An answer by Russian letters, Russian words. Uh, it is so comfortable. So yeah, I started to learn Spanish. I started to go to the gym because in our building uh, we have the gym. It is so cool, so comfortable, because at any time I can send and go to the gym. So I uh, started to uh, walk, to research new, some, some parks, some garden. I saw the cute monkeys uh, some days ago, and I really feel that I am happy right now. I don't feel some pressure out uh, was uh, when I was in Russia and so on. Now I have a lot of energy, a lot of ideas. I want to make my own projects. I want to make new videos. I want to make my YouTube channels more and more interesting. So that's uh, that's what was my news. I hope that you enjoyed my short live uh, video. By the way, I want to make the video how I just uh, will go on Phuket and just uh, record the video um, about streets, uh, about shops. So, and don't remember that on this week I will make the broadcast and I will uh, tell with you. So, I hope that you enjoyed this, my short video, my live video, but I just... Uh, felt that I need to share with you my emotions, my news and my thoughts. Thank you so much. It was Valeria. Bye.